big spoiler alert. Yes, we are about to talk traitors. Nice. And Jasmine joins me. Now, what a moment. It's so lovely. I feel like I know you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We've been following all of your lives. It's just the most extraordinary, brilliant series this time. Mm. And it was, I think for me, um, I, I, you can only imagine just how gutted you must feel at this yeah. point to get to so far, Jasmine, yeah. you were just nearly, nearly in the final. Yeah, I literally said, I was like spitting distance away, like a mere six hours away <laughs> from the final. When you put it like that. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> I was so, so close. And then to be gone, it was just so, so gutted. But you were, you were anticipating your demise a bit last night, weren't you? Yeah, 100%. I knew from the start of the day, probably even like Ross's round table, yeah that I was just gone, like, I was a goner. So it's just about, A, damage control, and B, just anticipating it, and I guess trying to enjoy your last day, but also, it's really hard to enjoy your last day when your last day is literally just before the final, uh -huh. because yeah. you want to be there, and you know that you're probably not going to be there, and it's like, I'm happy for everyone else, but... I mean, Zach got it into his head that you were a traitor, and when he yes. gets something in his head, he doesn't let it go. He had completely set his sights on you at one point. Yeah, oh, Zachy boy, he's, um, he's strong-willed. He's very strong-willed, and unfortunately, I was his target. Yeah. <laughs> Because, yeah. weirdly, I think if the two of you had stuck together, you would have been a formidable force. And he was right about a lot of things. He's a very clever guy, and you were brilliant as well. I really do think if you two had been together in yeah. it and stuck together and had true belief in one another, yeah. you could have brought anybody down. Yeah, and I really agree. Me and Zach have actually had conversations about this because we were really, really close at the start. And then I think because... I'm a strong personality. He was like, I can't fathom like why you're still here, so you must be a traitor. But if we really, really stuck our heads together, I think A, we would have made it to the final probably. And B, yeah, we would have actually, I actually made, maybe would have made a right decision to go away yeah. with like, Zach's <laughs> guidance. Um, yeah, I, it is a shame that we had a little bit of falling out, but yeah. Um, yeah. Just how <laughs> satisfying is it to stand at the round table and announce you are a faithful. Is there a little part of you going, I'm going to prove you all wrong? <laughs> Honestly, I would dream about that moment. <laughs> like, just to stand there, because I knew that people were just certain that I was a traitor. Yes. And I was like, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. I'm faithful, goodbye. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's like a drop the mic yeah. moment, isn't it? It's like, I am faithful. You should have believed me. There was a fantastic moment last night. It was in the after show. Um, when you and Zach got together, you met again and the traitors were revealed to you both for the first time and your reaction is priceless. Proper, <laughs> genuine shock. Honestly, I could have passed out. Like, I was just <laughs> so, so gagged. Like, it was just crazy. When he said Harry, I was like, I was like, nah, you're, you're joking. Like, you can't have said Harry. It was just, yeah. Genuine shock. He has played the best game ever because, interestingly, in the first episode when you were all doing the little introductions, he told us at home he has a face that you either want to kiss or slap. He mm. described himself like that. Mm. Everyone wanted to kiss him in there. Mm. Everyone loved him. It might be different now when they find <laughs> out. <laughs> but it's strange, he really did get everyone on board because I'm guessing he's a really genuinely lovely bloke. Yeah, well, I don't want to kiss him. However, he is, <laughs> he is really, really lovely. Like, I will always sing Harry's praises and that's why he's got so far. He's just a really nice guy. Like, what can I say? He, like, he wears his heart on his sleeve and I think that's why people believe him because it's like, why would Harry lie? Like, yeah. he's such a genuine guy. And he's been there from the very beginning. He yeah. has been the puppet master. Yeah, yeah. When, so when you find out who the traitors are, in when I found that out when you saw that clip, I didn't really know whether he'd been recruited or whether he'd been there from the start. And yeah, when I found out he'd been there from the start, it was just all my cogs started turning. And I was like, and I was really close to Harry. Yeah. And I was like... Wow, it's, wow. Uh, yeah, and Paul as well, of course. We yeah. just, I, I just saw him in the corridor. He'd been on GMB. Yeah. Really lovely book. Again, though, in there, he's yeah. something else. It just brings this other side to people. Yeah, I think it's so funny seeing Paul on TV because, obviously, the thing, how he is to the camera, I don't see that. I only see the Paul that's presented to me. Mm -hmm. And Paul's just, like, this lovely, like, jolly guy. And then on camera, he's some pantomime villain. And I'm just like, who is this guy? I don't know who this guy is at all. You have a lot to catch up on, really, don't you, with all of it? Who would you like to win? 
I want Molly to win. Oh, I love Molly. I love Molly so much. She's like my sister. We're so, so close. She came down for my birthday, like, and she really deserves to win. She's such an inspirational girl. Yeah, and she's fantastic. She's and incredible. she loves Harry. She's listened to every word that he's saying. It's just like you want to scream because she's so lovely. And he yeah. knows it too, though. Yeah. He's getting a bit protective of her, though. Mm. It's just, oh, look, I could clearly talk all day about this. <laughs> but we have two other Trader Super fans in the kitchen this morning. Kerry Godelman and Vogue. Come over here, you two. <laughs> um, it's taken up all of our evenings, hasn't it? And indeed our days we talking about this. Welcome, away, Harry, yeah. welcome again. <laughs> Vogue. Lovely to have you both here. It's been all consuming, hasn't it? Yeah, if you're yeah. in, you're got in. A life now. Everybody's <laughs> obsessed. Got a lot of laundry to really? catch up on. <laughs> you're, do you're doing imp impressions and all sorts at the minute. Yeah. Andrew particularly has got your eye, Karen. Yeah. I, 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 Andrew's little monologue about the word elusive. Oh, yeah, it was re unbelievable. Carrie, we've got your version of oh, Andrew. God. This really I've got made toast. me laugh. I'm, I'm wearing toast. In <laughs> I'm not elusive. I'm not elusive. I never said anyone was elusive. I don't even know what the word means. Uh, elusive. What is it? I'm not elusive. Are you elusive? I never said anyone was elusive. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you trying to throw me under the bus? Why are you lying? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> so good. And he played it, it just very went well, on didn't and on. Didn't you think when he was yeah. doing it? So it's so funny because he was like, I know what elusive means. And then he was like, How was I even being elusive? And I was like, So you do know what it means? And yeah, it exactly. So funny. He just <laughs> kept talking. Sometimes when some of them really go on and on, you're like, Stop, stop, mm, stop, stop talking. Exactly. For me, though, the unspoken star of this show is the owl. The owl in episode one was fantastic. This bird looked yeah. Absolutely flew up that lane. You all followed it. It was one of the best shots I've seen. It that was, was fantastic. Some lovely owl work. A very oh talented owl it. work. But I later on, when you're doing catch out. up, when you're watching it, sometimes we, when you're short of time on on the uh, iPlayer, you do skip the owl. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're like, I, I don't want the owl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want candles. I don't want windows. Yeah. I want I really want, good I want stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the owl here, though. Traders have no. taken over the, the fashion world and everything. There's actually a T-shirt that you can get. It's like ten pounds from from Asda. There it is. <laughs> Ten oh. pounds from Asa. I'm sorry. I want that. Everybody <laughs> wants the, the Everyone merch. wants it. Yeah. It's fantastic. Right. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm obsessed with the show, but I don't think I'd be very good at spotting That's what you a were trader. Saying, yeah. I wouldn't I'd be, be good at it. Same so we've got a little game. Apparently, you're going to put me to the test. So two of you are going to tell me something truthful, okay. and one's going to lie to me. I'm going to have to spot the trader amongst you, OK? OK. Right, Kerry, you go first. Um, I once farted in front of Colin Firth. <laughs> okay. Jasmine? I once slipped on a crisp packet so hard that I broke my ankle. Oh. Oak? Well, you know I'm obsessed with being Irish. I was actually born in Sada Grande in Spain. Oh. I am going to say... Kerry, that can't be correct. You can't... <laughs> have broken wind in front of Colin Firth. I just, that's just not in your nature. I think you are the traitor. I am a faithful. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy, is it? It's not easy. I just thought for embarrassment's sake, I could, I, was I can't say believe really you did that. that. I relive the shame no. every time I tell people. I I'm can't glad think you why tell I tell people. <laughs> why do I tell people? I know, no, I've repeated it on your behalf. <laughs> yeah, Who was the traitor? Oh, I should have Come known on. that. I, know. I, I, I should have known that, really. Um, it's wonderful to meet you, Jasmine. You played a blinder. You played it brilliantly. Really, really, so really good much. game. Uh, you can watch The Traders' final tonight, 9pm on BBC One.